Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to create a to-do list in Excel. We're going to use the checkboxes and we're going to use conditional formatting to make it easier to determine when we've completed the task. So here we go. Let's see how this is going to work. Uh, here's the actual finished product. I have uh, check boxes here and my list of tasks here. And as I check any one of these check boxes, it'll turn that task red and strike it through so I know that I've completed that task. So that's what we want to accomplish here. So just to eliminate the need to retype, I'm just going to highlight this list of tasks. And uh, let's see, highlight that list of tasks. I'm going to copy it and paste it over here widen that column just in case we have tasks that are longer in name. I'll put my header up here done and I will format that using my format painter just like I have my tasks. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is insert our checkboxes. Now checkboxes are found in the developer tab in Excel under the controls. Now if you don't have the developer tab in your ribbon you need to go to file, options, Customize Ribbon, and under Customize Ribbon, you'll see the Developer tab. It just may not be checked, so you want to check that to make sure it then appears on your ribbon. Once you've done that, go to the Developer tab, and again, under Controls, under Insert, click the down arrow, and there are your Form Controls, and here's your checkbox. You click on that, go over to where you want to insert it, and just drag it there, and it'll create that box in that space. I'm going to now move it and center it a little bit so it's positioned where I want it. And the next thing I'm going to do is right click on it and edit the text. A cursor appears right before the text. I'm just going to delete all that, hit enter, click off of that, and now I have my checkbox next to the first task. Next thing I'll do is go up, copy that, and paste it into the rest of the cells. So now I have a nice, a nice neat list of checkboxes that I can check and uncheck next to each one of the cells. Now I need to tie each one of those checkboxes to a link cell so that I can use a formula based on that link cell to activate the conditional formatting. So I'm just going to insert a row here which I'll later hide and what I'll do now is right click on each of the checkboxes, go to Format Control, and where it says Cell Link, I can either click here, click on that cell, and say OK, or, so now when I check it, notice it pops up true, uncheck it, it'll be false. So I want to do that to all the rest of my checkboxes. I can also right click, go to Format Control, and instead of clicking that, I know it's going to be cell, in this case, J3, hit OK, right click here, format control, I can go to J4, and uh, format control, J5. Now you can do this with um, VBA if you want to do some programming, um, but if you're not familiar with that, uh, you may just need to do this manually for your list of checkboxes here. But It'll just take a few seconds to do them all, but once they're done, uh, it'll be complete and you won't have to go back and do them again. So now, any one of these I check will give me a true. When I uncheck them, it will give me a false. So now the last step is to conditionally format your tasks so that when these are true, it will strike them through and make them red. When they're false, it'll leave them in the default formatting. So I'm highlighting my list of tasks, what I want to conditionally format, I'm going to go to the Home tab of my ribbon and select Conditional Formatting and select New Rule. Now the New Formatting Rule dialog box pops up and I'll choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And we'll go into the formula bar here and I'll click Equal and I'll click this cell. Now notice when I click it, it makes it an absolute cell reference. So I have to change that to relative cell reference so that as it formats it, each of the cells going down that list, it won't just point to the first one, it'll point to the relative one next to the task that I want to um, 
format. So I'll just hit my F4 key once, twice, three times to get rid of the absolute cell references. And then I'll do equals and true. So there's my formula. When J2 equals true, I'm going to have it initiate the conditional formatting. And I'll click on the format button. I'll select strike through and I'll select red as my color. Say OK and OK. And now as I select each one of these, as I check it, notice it turns to true. And because that's true, it initiates the conditional formatting, making these red and striking them through. And just as a last step, I'll hide this column. You can also put those on another sheet if you want, so they're totally out of the way. Or you can just hide them like I've done here. Now when I check any of the boxes, my uh, tasks turn to red and are struck through. And there you have it. Creating a to-do list in Excel using checkboxes and conditional formatting. Hopefully that's useful to you. Thanks for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com. And I hope you subscribe. Happy Excelling.